Hi guys, it's Ugo and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing The Mystery of Sintra's Road by Asad Queiroz and Ramalho Ortigão. This is a Portuguese classic that is translated to English, so it's available for you if you want to reach. I'll link down below the link if you want to see the, the you want to buy the book. So the The Mystery of Sintra Road it's a Portuguese classic and it's set on the eight, 19th century. It's set in the 19th century. So the story is told by a lot of perspectives and it's a story about a mystery that happened on Sister Road. So it happened during uh, a ride, a doctor and his friend arriving from Sintra to Lisbon on his horses when they are attacked by these masked people who kidnap them. And kidnap them because they have a secret. There is a man who died and there is a secret. And then we will unveil the secret and we'll discover the story. The, the interesting format about this is that this was first published on a journal and it was published as a real story and it was sent by letters. So the book is told in every detail as letters to this journal. So a, main, a character A, for example the doctor, sends a letter explaining the story and retelling the story. And then comes a friend who sends a letter to question the identity or the what happened in that day and then it goes one of the masked men explaining all the story and that's how the story flows so it flows by letters on this adventure and mystery thriller story it was the first mystery detective story in portugal in as publishing sites and i think it was very interesting i listened to the audiobook which is on screen in portuguese and although the, the narrator doesn't do any voices, so sometimes it's hard to pick what they are, who is talking. But the story is very interesting because you start seeing the perspective of the doctor who arrives to see a dead body to go and see who is that man, who killed that man, what is happening, and that is the mystery that keeps you alive. Because during all the story, you start connecting the dots and start seeing what could happen, and when you discover who the person is, you are like, who killed him? Why he is dead? How is he dead? Well, we know the how from the beginning, but the how in terms of how it was planned, it was not planned, everything around that, I think it was very well done. Um, it comes with what it says about the 90th century books. So the women are very fragile and very die for love. And, you know, when they are heartbreak, they start dying and defying, you know, the man. Everything comes to honor and everything about that. Um, there's a description about they're going to this trip to Malta. And then there is a trip also to India, which is part on even which is still colonized by the UK, the, from the are still colonized by England. So there is this historical aspect that if you want to read, you have to be aware that it happened because it was written in that time. So the views are on that time. Uh, but I think if you have that in mind, that it's a historical book, it was written on that time so the views are from that time if you are looking for the aspect of a thriller uh, or a detective story because it's more a detective story i think it was well done um i don't know in the english edition what's where the last part is put because and this is a bit spoiler so i'll put a timestamp here so you can skip it to this part but in the real life the journal as I said, the letters were published in the journal and they seem as real and the last letter was describing or saying that it was all fiction and it was written by these authors and that is presented in the end and then if you see the historical context, you see that that's why that happened there. I don't know in the English edition if it starts in the beginning or if it goes in the end, but yeah, I was not expecting to like it. Um, I'm not an avid fan of, of classics, especially Portuguese ones. Um, I think only Saramago, the Nobel Prize winner, is the one that I've read that I've enjoyed. But one that I read from ESSA that was part of our national program to read in the Portuguese class, I didn't enjoy. Most people enjoy it, or, or some people enjoy it. I didn't. I think I didn't like a book that is very descriptive, especially so having social criticisms because um, I was not in that. Maybe now I'll like it, but I don't know. It's very, it's chunky. 
it's not a small book, it's very chunky, and sometimes it's very boring and very slow, so it's definitely not the book that I would think I would like, but I think here you see starting to see Essa describing and the way he describes the rooms and every, like, tiny detail, you see um, the... He doesn't repeat himself, but he, when he does a description, it's very to build this scenario. And that I enjoy, not when it's too much, and I don't feel this was too much. And I really enjoyed it. I was really looking for it each day in the morning to listen to the other book. Partially because I was very curious to know what's going to happen. Who is that mysterious man who is that? Who killed him? What is happening? Who are these masked people? Who is the person who appears to with nails and a hammer? everything it's very interesting so i totally recommend if you're looking for more classic literature and if you want to dive in into a, some classic portuguese literature i'll definitely recommend because it's a detective story so and it's very short i don't think it has 200 pages or if it has it's like near 200 pages so it's a very fast read and i don't and i really recommend i was really um happy to like it because i'm not expecting that i was really like when it l land classic on the board, and I was like, how am I going to pick a classic? And I was like, maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe, because it's not too big, and it's a detective, like, mystery story. Maybe it's more interesting, and it was. So, yeah, I recommend it. It's not fast-paced. It's taking its time, because, you know, how people like letters, it's creating a lot of scenarios, a lot of, like, build-up to characters and performances and um, personality so it takes his time lighting these letters the letters are long but it's definitely an interesting story in terms of if it was the first one to be created in Portugal and the the concept was interesting and I really enjoyed it so tell um, I hope you enjoyed this content I I hope you enjoyed this review don't forget if you reach this far to leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell which is very important. I have affiliate links below if you want to support this channel. I also have Amazon wishlist if you want to send me something and I have a Kofi, which is a kind of Patreon thing that you can use to to support this channel. I also have a script link if you like audiobooks you can use my script link to get 60 days for free and also get 30 days from me to and I get in return 30 days also. So if you want to help this channel and if you want audiobooks, please use my link. It's a very, very good way to support this channel. I post videos every Tuesdays and Sundays, usually sometimes on Thursdays around 6 p.m. GMT. And I have live reading sprints on Fridays, usually with Ashley. I don't know if it's going to be all Fridays because I'm feeling a little bit tired sometimes. But I'm trying to do, I'll try to push it sometimes. But it will be around 9 p.m. GMT if you want to join. Okay, I see you guys on my next video. Okay, bye.